like so. Found it on eBay, I think it was like 30 bucks. Then just to lock it back in, yeah. Gotta have two hands, but there you go. Pretty cool, right? You don't come in this way? I don't come in the way. Oh, I saw some people sitting at the wall, which means the door's not open. We love you. Have fun at school. I love you. I love you. Later, dude. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Say hi. All right. Bye-bye, Cash. Now that Cash is at the corner, now we can go, go find us in Vegas. Okay. Justin, what are you doing? Putting your, all your millions of pillows up here. Where'd you come from? Huh? 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 Justin! You don't care? He is not phased. He needs to rules this place. <laughs> he does. What are you doing? He said me out. Babe. Look at me. <gasps> Justin! I'm a rabbit. <laughs> You're a wolf. I'm a rabbit. Oh. Ow, ow. Why do you have so many pillows? I like pillows. What? Think he's not going where you let him go? Yeah. Hi, Hi. Hi. Okay, I want you to come on a trip. <laughs> He wants to know if you want any chips. Hey, I'm good on the chips. Come here, man. I'm good on the chips, man. Thank I'm Justin. You, man. Come on in, man. Hey, man. Ollie, nice to meet you. Nice Ollie? So I'm looking for loads. T Dub just got back with a present, I think, for uh, our oldest is going to be six on the 30th. So heck yeah. Um, but there's one load that's going to Bowling Green. It's right above Nashville. And that's where I'm getting the APU installed at, the green APU. But um, these ears, I don't even notice. I've been wearing them all day until T Dub says something about it. Yeah, baby. I think he's licking me. I'll help you, Kason. But thanks for my Starbucks tea dubs. What is this You're one? Welcome. It what? is a pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. Tiki, why are you licking me, dude? Anyways, uh, it's going to Bowling Green. But it's only like 4,000 pounds. It's 1,400 bucks. Um, Tiki. And uh, we'll see if we can get it for 22. It's listed at 1,400. So we'll see if C.H. Robinson comes with that. But other than that, there's not that many loads out there. Um, Howdy has like two loads. Uber has a, uh, nothing right by me, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys are seeing out there doing the world, but trying to logistically get to where APU's gonna get installed. Oh, that's pretty sweet. It's a lunchbox. Um, that's a lunchbox, huh? You can fit a lot more lunch in that thing. I think that's why he comes home from school so hungry. I was like, dude, you need more lunch. Huh? I was like, yeah, uh, mom, more, maybe more food. I do. Yeah, because he's there for a long time. Um, but yeah, just trying to get a load, but we're waiting for a call from Eric, the head uh, master tech at this install location that's done like hundreds of these installs. So waiting for that, looking for a load, but trying to get something that's going to be going that way. I don't want to be down in Florida if he's like, hey, come on Monday. So trying to book a load and wait for a phone call. And we got something crazy going on here. Check this out on T-Dub's channel. And here's today's winner. We're, I, I think I forgot a winner yesterday. I only have three. You guys need to email just truck and wife at Gmail and give her your address, and the shell will ship it directly to you. Yes. Um, what'd you get, a cake pop? Are you helping Ali? Also, hey, look. What's up? Um, I'm gonna. We got a. This is from. He doesn't have this, any hair. Chris Spellman. Chris Spellman. Thanks, Chris. Address, but right. yeah, what's the PO box? Thanks, Chris. I'll open he this doesn't have any hair. He doesn't. Dad, it doesn't have any hair. No, Do I have hair? Does Mama have hair? Yeah. But yeah, I'll check out what's going on in this room over here. And then uh, these are two uh, winners for today because we only have, we have to have seven. So we'll have two today and we'll have two tomorrow. And that'll make a total of seven. So. Pinky has hair too. Kason's going to pick one. I'll let Kylan pick one. They'll just pick on the screen. Oh, oh, I, gotta pick. I don't know what it is, but I'm already excited. What is it? Oh, wait, I love homemade stuff. It oh, yeah? says, I uh, found your husband's video on YouTube a while back and I've been watching and enjoying since. Keep up the great work and God bless. These are just some new hobby work. Um, this is... It's just some like some hobby stuff I do for fun, and I really enjoyed making these for you. Thank you, Chris. I'm so excited. I love the whole stuff like this. Like hobby stuff is so Chris cool. Chris is the one who sent us this package. Are you trying to watch it on my phone? <laughs> she can go watch it with mom. He's like trying to look at my phone to watch her open it. He had something like in his first, like cut it out. You cut it out? Yeah, you can't even tell. It was right here. He does need it. Be grim. Oh, heck yeah, with the oh, little diamond plates. Oh, let's knock it. 
I mean, that's they're both amazing. Awesome. But Thank check you. this out. Those are sweet. I got cold chills. This is amazing. That's like handmade, guys. Thank you, Chris. I wonder, oh, is it like, I bet you he's got one of those, um, like, uh, wood cutters? cutters. Yeah. It's like from the, the stuff that the uh, puzzle out. pieces are for kids stuff. But it's yeah. awesome. This is amazing, Chris. Thank you so much. That is so cool, man. Thank you, Chris. Who's Those are dope. This? Chris is the one who made you. these. Can you say thank you, Chris? This. Thank you, Chris. Okay, I'll just this chop is it. Literally, it this is so this cool. This is super cool. Thank you so much, man. Where are we going to put these? I don't know, but I'm really I don't excited. Know. I feel like we should put them like in the boys' rooms. But... Put, yeah! this, this was going in the toy room. I feel like it should go. Yeah, it needs to go somewhere. Yeah. I, I, like, it has cool. to go in the house. Like, yeah, awesome. Check out what this guy's doing. Uh, Ali, he came over. Uh, we offered. Yeah, Somebody's, funny story. I, like, I posted it on Simpsonville. Like, we have like a red, like Simpsonville residence page, mm -hmm. and um, he was the first person to comment and send me a message. He was like, "Hey, you know, like, you know, I'll, I'll do it for you." I was like, "All right." And I look up, you know, obviously I'm gonna look up his profile, and we have like 30 mutual friends. So very good. Cool. Go to Is that what color you chose? So if you want to see more of this, guys, check out. Uh, just Truck and Wife's channel. And uh, he is working hard, but thank you, brother, for all you're doing. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hi. Hi. And we got a load. Uh, the CH Robinson loads were really light, but they wouldn't come up at all in the price. So it was $1,430 to the uh, Bowling Green. And <laughs> she's keeping him out of that room because he keeps grabbing the little tiny fasteners. But, um,. I just been on a convoy load going right past the house down to Charleston and it delivers at Costco in the morning. So we got that. Check it out here. On the tires alone, like I don't need to know the whole tab, but on the tires alone. Tires and wheels? Like tires and wheels. 40, the 42 inch tires, man, they were like seven fifty dollars a piece. But I got so lucky to find them uh, off the ports of California with this COVID thing. And uh, then the wheels were like in stock everywhere for 2800 So like it was what? So seven grand? So it's under seven grand? Yeah, but like that's way better than 10 grand plus tires because if you go to a 30 inch tire it goes to like 15 grand 10 grand for the rims and then like eight grand for the tires just i'm like two grand a tire i'm like geez guys but oh, like, I mean, yes baby it it's crazy when it gets start getting crazy but this just came in the mail uh good old condenser for that escalate it's starting to get a little warm oh, and i right? guess this is a big problem because it, it holds so yes baby what do you want you want to get inside of it yeah okay what are you doing so we were showing the truck to our buddy ollie and colin's turning on all the lights which i should tell him to turn them off but she only did you only had two pull-ups oh the ac's hot you loving it why are all your windows up if the ac's hot I just rolled oh. <laughs> um I'm like dying check right this now. thing out what? Oh, here's your relief that, well, can't you put it in? No. Can I throw it in there for me? I'm sweating. Oh. I'm going to go change my clothes. Well, I told you to drive the, that black one. The black one. Because he was in the street. So now he's stuck on top of the truck. Anyways, we got that load. Um, T definitely did two pull ups to pull the Escalade in here. Well, that's because I. Whatever. Man. <laughs> whatever. And this is called an AC condenser for all you guys that don't know. It uh, goes right behind the um, radiator. And then. Is that for my car? That's for your car. That <laughs> just came in the mail. That's what's broken. I guess it's a bad design flaw. And it, it hangs on itself and it cracks right I'm here. So, so they even give us a little. Poor little, little. You gonna grab that dog? But yeah, I'm gonna uh, take the boys to the park for a second and then Cash come over to school and then I'm gonna go head over to Charlotte, pick up this load. When are you gonna fix my car, bro? I got so many things to do. Um, Am I going with you to Nashville? Is Gigi gonna watch the kids? It's not until the 28th. We can either take the kids. So yeah, oh yeah, Green Ape, you just called. I talked to Greg and Dottie and uh, we're setting up for the 28th and our unit will be there by that time waiting for us. What's the 28th? It is a Tuesday, so I can deliver a load on a Monday, be there bright and early on Tuesday morning, and then going to start getting on it okay. and get the APU done. It takes about six so hours. Back I have to stay overnight because they want to check all the air bubbles out of the mm -hmm. system, and then the next morning they want to start it up again and make sure everything's working right. So that'll be the 29th? 29th. And then the 30th is Cash's birthday. Yeah, so, so I'll be, yeah. I'll stay here. Yeah, I'll be <laughs> heading. Well, I mean, we could do it. Have come back on the 29th? Maybe. Oh, okay. Come on, baby. Let's get out of here. We'll figure it out. Hey, what are you doing? No, let's go. Let's lock this thing up. You can't just sit in this thing all day. He would literally sit in this truck all day. You want to start it? Yeah. Okay, start. One more time. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. All done. Other way. Good job, Bubba. Okay, roll the windows up. Let's go. See you later. Why do you not like it? I was like. I think it's cool. I like my car. All right, see ya. Bye. Going to get cat. Sensor on this side is uh, is um, broken or, or maxed out because it's always up. Yeah. I gotta change the sensor, okay, get under there, and see if it's I stuck. Know. I'll figure it out. Hey, let me call you. I just got home. Let me call you. What's up, Tinker? Hey, How was school, dude? Fun. What's wrong, baby? I'm not parking. Uh, like pretty good. Wow, dude. I got from, my fundraiser. from your fundraiser? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for everybody who has bought something for Cash's fundraiser. He is killing it. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Val. Guess what else came in in the mail today? Uh oh, something inside the house. Something inside. What was school like today, dude? Did you have fun? Yeah. Cool, man. I like his outfit. You did. I like your, I like your park job. Okay, well, I wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad at all. It was good. Okay. I gotta go. Um, I gotta go pick up this load. My dad wants us to get a babysitter. Oh, you'll, you, will you be able to? Um, you can't go yeah. No, I gotta be in Charlotte. Are you gonna take? No. Yeah. It's it straight through the 5 a.m. Is that thing cool? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, secret compartment? Yeah, it's a secret. Whoa, it opens up like that? Super cool. All right, I gotta pick up this load. Kylan is, uh, no, he's playing up. So these things are really cool. Angry Yank RC, guys. Check him out on YouTube. Angry Yank RC. He sent us one of these, and we bought three more. <laughs> but um, you can, the remotes are really cool. You can turn them down so they're slow. So I turn it down to the slowest thing and he just like drives it around slowly yeah. instead of taking people's ankles out. I just sprayed bug spray on him. He's still getting itched. Does he? No, I think he's just, yeah. I don't know. Look at those bugs. All right, what's this one? Yeah, oh, they're still Mr. biting. Potato them. Head? Yeah, and what's the, and what's the other one? This bug spray right here, I guess this they, Harry they're not scared of it. Oh, Harry Potter, okay. okay. So, uh, let me get some of the good stuff. We'll throw some of this stuff on him. Yes, Repel Max. And this is Football Player. Did you get bite by a bug? The bug gets you? Let me see your neck. Yeah, he's still getting you. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That better? Okay, yeah. All right, bite down there? Okay, let me get down there too. There you go. That better? Let's just spray your clothes. Good old mosquito season. And we're out of here. Let's go pick this load up in Charlotte. It is still hot, guys. Like, it's a hot one today. Woo. And I found out on this Trailblazer, if you guys follow my son's channel, 3BB, this passenger side airbag is it's, uh, not even inflated. And so all the the leveling is happening by it's overinflating the driver's side bag. So I'm going to cross the tubes and see if it's just the sensors that are not reading or if the bag's blown. I don't know. But by crossing those those lines, if the sensor on the passenger side is um, not working, the driver's side is, and it'll air it again. So we'll see. But that's a little uh, troubleshooting for that, but that thing's got all kinds of problems, but man, it's fun to drive. T-Dubs drove it to get cash today. She's like, wow, this thing's fast. I'm like, yeah, it's got an LS2 in it, but it's been a problem, child, but we still love it. Uh, either way, let's go pick up this load. Can we get our uh, decals today for the W9? So we should be getting that picked up soon enough. Bye-bye truck, bye-bye SS, and good luck, Ali, with the, uh, Good old Murphy bed, man. That thing is a feat. So here we go. Let's get out of here and get over to Charlotte. What's up, school bus? Well, let's get these ones fired up. I'm gonna fire up the W9 too, just to get the batteries going. Check out Just Truck and Not Shop, guys. Every $5 goes to a chance to win that red truck right there. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. 
step foot has memorabilia. This thing is super cool. You just pull this. Well, you have to have two hands, but it releases it. Maybe I can do it with one hand. Hey! No. Two hands, but it just releases it out. Like so. Found it on eBay. I think it was like 30 bucks. Then just to lock it back in. Yeah. Gotta have two hands, but there you go. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's fire her up. Woo, batteries are getting weak. I still gotta put the empty stickers on and put that dash cam up. There you go. It was a beautiful day all day, and then uh, these clouds rolled in. It's 84 degrees and humid because it's been raining. It was raining all uh, yesterday. So here we go. We'll take the 85, pray for some uh, smooth sound traffic on a Friday. And. Um, Charlotte about 80 miles to Charlotte then we go about another 20 miles north so about 100 miles and then we'll come back down to 26 or and actually probably come back down to 77 all the way through Columbia and down to Charleston about a three hour three hour drive but $1,450 tomorrow morning drop off so I'm, I'm done for the weekend and I don't have to worry about anything that's awesome plus my C.H. Robinson buddy just called me end of the day uh, he said, hey, I got something uh, just popped up for Monday. Where are you going to be? And I said, probably home. <laughs> going to Charleston unless I find something on a Saturday, which is rare. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and head back home and call it a week. And be, be rocking the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. And then he's like, okay, well, Monday I have uh, only 14,000 pounds of glue from Hankel. That's, that's one, of his, uh, one of his book of business accounts that's going over to Mississippi. I said, okay, I've been to Mississippi in a long time. And it's 390 miles for $2,500. I said, sign me up. I'll take it. So I'm glad that we locked in the APU install day for the 28th. And so now I know I can kind of book my loads because I was kind of being tentative of booking any loads today, trying to figure out if I had to be in Nashville on Monday or not. So I finally figured that out about 1, 1.30. And um, now I know I'm, I'm free for the next week until Tuesday the 28th. So I said, okay. Let's uh, get this going. That's cool. We'll be in Mississippi, and it's the next day drop, 8 a.m. Monday to Tuesday, so that's cool. And then we'll find something out of there. Coming back over here, but I just want to show you guys these clouds. Get on over to Charlotte area and get loaded, and drop off to Costco in Charleston. So if you drink any bottled water from Costco charleston that maybe i delivered it you never know and there's a brit there's a race going on tomorrow night i was talking to t-dubs a little bit about it i'll probably go live later on today if you watch this video tonight um well i went live when i was getting loaded if i have time and everything goes smooth and uh, i'm gonna see if anybody has any tickets or any insight on the night race tomorrow night in bristol i've heard it's a great time i've actually sat in those stadium uh seats it looks like a pretty cool race because it's, it's a small track so you can sit the whole thing so that'd be kind of fun to Take the boys their first NASCAR race. I don't know if Tank would do so good. My youngest child, his nickname is Tank, if you're new to the channel, but his real name is Kylan. Watch out, Dodge Ram. Stay over there. There you go. But um, yeah, I was thinking maybe that'd be a fun thing to do for tomorrow night. We'll see how the day goes. We might just go to the lake tomorrow because it's only a couple weeks left of lake time and the pool's closed. But if we don't, maybe we'll go to the Bristol race. I don't know what time the race starts, but it's a night race up in Bristol, Tennessee. It's about a two and a half hour drive for us. So we'll see what happens. But right now we're gonna just try and get through this traffic. 4.30 at night and it's a seven o'clock appointment and here we go, Friday traffic. Almost out of the construction and into North Carolina and the weather just decided to open up over here. Who knows if it's coming this way or what it's doing, but end road work, welcome to North Carolina. I hope South Carolina gets that done sooner than later. They're working on it, but man, it's been a project. Kings Mountain, we're gonna hit the, what is it, the 485, I think? Yeah, 45, 285, something like that. 45, I think. It goes a little loop around Charlotte, then we'll connect back to 77, go north past the lake I met my wife on, Lake Norman, and then go by NASCAR country, which Bristol is uh, shooting for a good race tomorrow night. It'll be pretty fun. I think, I don't know, did I have a Sunday race too? Leave it in the comments. And we'll pick the last two. We have five people so far that have won the case of Show or Tell a T6. Um, we'll do the last two tomorrow and then that'll be it. And 
Trucker Appreciation. Appreciate all you guys out there trucking or not trucking, whatever you're doing in life. Try to be a dad, try to be a good neighbor, try to be a good son, husband, anything, wife, daughter, all that kind of stuff. But um, just try to be a good person. That's the bottom line of it. Live this life. Who knows what's going to get taken away from you or when it's going to end or when you lose somebody. I pray that never happens, but it could. So trying to do the best we can and I'm, I was blessed to be home a lot today and play with the two small boys. Tank and I went at it all day and beat the heck out of them, tickled them, played with them a lot in the backyard. We were going to go to the park but it was just too hot, mosquitoes were eating. So we did not do that and then Casey fell asleep upstairs in the toy room. Cash came up from school. It was good to hang out with him. Thanks so much for all you guys that support him in his fundraiser, my wife's channel, Just Trucking Life. Um, he has a fundraiser for school, and she did a little video about it, and uh, he's leading his class by a long shot, so thank you so much, guys. It's not about the winning or, or doing the best or having the most things. It's It all goes to the school, so it gives them, everyone in school, a greater experience, so thank you so much for all that in South Carolina. They have pretty good schools here to begin with, but every little bit helps them have a little bit better times. So. All right, North Carolina, let's have some fun with you, and then uh, get loaded, get some rest, and then... Um, Deliver, we'll go straight to Charleston on our same clock and, and reset there and see what tomorrow brings. But it's probably not gonna bring a load, but I'll cross my fingers for the best. There's a couple that are going to Lithia Springs, uh, Colgate, Palmolive. They were up today and they're, they're up again tomorrow for Uber, they're like $1,100 on 200 miles. It's not bad, but if that jumps up a little higher, maybe I'll take that. But I want to have the weekend with these boys, so we'll probably hit the lake tomorrow. It's supposed to be 85 degrees, but a little bit cloudy. But the water's still warm in that lake, so might as well use it when we got it because the pool is closed. We'll see what T Dubs wants to do. If we're gonna head up to the Bristol race or if we're just gonna get in the lake and relax. So who knows? Right now the plan is get loaded. So T Dubs just uh, texted me and said it's a torrential downpour where she's at. <laughs> and it is beautiful up here. Sunshine. There's a pontoon out there on the lake still. I saw a fish jump out of the water, but that's kinda cool. And let's try and get a route. We can't get over. We got a Volkswagen next to us. Hope that Ford Escape's doing okay. But it's 85 degrees, guys. It's 6, 15 at night. My goodness. One thing you learn with Convoy, like Uber does a little bit, um, but Convoy really like hounds you about your scorecard. Like if you're late to your appointment by a minute or two or five minutes, um, they'll like rate your scorecard lower and say you have a less chance of getting um, good loads. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, that's the lake, though. This is the lake that I met T-Dubs on. I was actually hanging out here for July 2014. There's a little American flag over there on the island, and there's a slight slalom skiing right there. See those little buoys we grip on the water? I don't know if you can see them, the yellow and the red and green. Got a deer slalom course. But a lot of, uh, nice houses on this lake. Pretty big lake, too. A lot of, uh, homes for some NASCAR personalities out here. So we're exiting exit 36 and we're going to head right back down this highway to Charleston about a what, 240 mile run. So we'll take that for 1450. We'll be done with it for the weekend and maybe we'll get ourselves on that lake tomorrow. Who knows? Right now let's get to 36. All right so they switch things up a little bit here at good old Niagara. Um, it said back there, there's like a new sign you could tell it was just put up over the old sign. It said truck entrance this way, so deliveries and pickup. Okay, okay, so they got like a new new lane they made over here. See this to the left? Because that's where you exit right there. You used to come in on the back side of the building. Now it says come over here. A brand new road. shift change or like one time when I was here for quite a while they were checking the lot or they were doing a yard check they said it was they checked every trailer in line okay got 
two guys just chilling here. We'll see. At least there's not a huge stack of trucks in there. Oh yeah, they switched it up, expanded a little bit. Uh, is there, I think that's another intercom over here. There's three of them. I believe so. Looks like it. Ring camera. Generator, what we got? Hello, hello. Niagara shipping. Please wait while we connect you with an agent. Alright. Beautiful sunset though. Let's wait till we talk to somebody. Please hold on, we'll call you back as soon as we can. Alright, thank you. Okay. Call back as soon as we can. Okay. Costco, uh, Charleston, uh, Convoy. Can I have the trailer number? 531446. 531446. That's right. Your name? Justin. Just a moment, sir. The line was breaking. One more time, your name? Justin. Justin. Is that Jet? J U S T I N. Justin. Justin. Okay, sir, you can proceed to door number six. Six, okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. Okay, so they got a little bit tighter quarters now with uh, whatever they, I don't know if they're building another warehouse or what, but there's more parking for trailers. We're going six, because this used to be all these doors to our left over here you could load at too, but now they, they lost, well they lost like five doors. Uh, we got a speed bump that got put in, be careful that thing, it was nice of them to paint it yellow for us. There you go. Alright, this guy's backing up. We gotta shoot out and open our doors. Let's see if Carol Fuller's a one-shotter. Oh, it's coming in a little bit tight. I would let the back tires go over a little bit further before I came in like that, just to help you guys coming out here. So he should be starting to turn his tractor the other way. And he's gonna readjust, or she, he or she. Thinking about it, let's see what they're gonna do. Uh, I am, I'm just waiting here, you can do it. You, know, you can't even see me, so. Let's go, maybe the training, I don't know. What are we doing here? Come on, Carol Ford. Yeah, you gonna keep going back? You gonna go forward? There you go. So yeah, let your trailer come back a little bit further. Can I go past you maybe? No, no, you're gonna... Uh, if you wave me past, I'll go past. Yeah, you wave me past, cool, thank you. I'll flicker my lights at him, thank you, thank you, thank you. Pass. He's going door 28. Tease and piece for him. Getting in there. You should be able to do it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And we're looking for six. There's 23. There's an old Volvo. A different color door, different color hood. Look at that. It's been through some days, but still rolling. I love my Volvo guys. People give the trucking like different trucks, different personas, but this Volvo's been great. I'm sure, it's got a Cummins motor in it, but. It has, it has made my life a, a, a different life. So I, I really appreciate this truck for doing all that for me. It's gonna be sad to retire her, keep her as an extra one, but I think we have new memories coming with the W9. Until that motor decides to be rebuilt, and then we'll go ahead and, uh, well, this guy's coming up on my right, then we'll go ahead and go back to the one we'll probably. All right, six is wide open. Someone left a tire there for us too. That was nice of them. In case we needed a tie, we're gonna get past this guy in the freight shaker. Let this guy go past us so they can still check out. That should be far enough. We may have to slide our tandems, but we're not gonna slide them until we get in the door. It just makes it easier for all you new guys coming out here. But we are gonna open our doors. The, I like the, the brushed, polished look on the front of that trailer. There we go. Door six, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that tire. Look at that, good tire. I'm just joking. I'm just joshing. 
Yeah, we're still pretty clean. All right, guys. Well, God bless you. I'm going to jump in this cab, get a little rest, edit this video for you, maybe go live. But uh, we're lucky to get a Friday load, and it puts us back in, uh, back home for the weekend. So that's a blessing. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend, too. I'm going to jump in this cab and sign out. Okay, then. We are set to go in the door. Green light is still going, but we're going to go ahead and get this thing going. See if it's cold now. Yeah, we recharged it. I already checked it. It is cold, but I just wanted you guys to be there with me. We're going. APU's back working. Brand new uh, compressor. That one lasts us about three years. So three years on a compressor, and then we get a brand new one again. And the alternator was replaced a little bit after that. So we'll see if that holds up too. But please check out JustTrucking.shop. Grab a blanket. It's getting cold outside soon. Grab a beanie. That's going to be cold pretty soon. You'll start seeing me wear that. And, uh, Grab a hat, grab a shirt, grab whatever. But God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, check out Just Truck and Wife's if, channel if you want to see that Murphy bed thing we're getting put together again. And uh, we'll pick two more winners for Shell Rotella T6 tomorrow. Um, I, I think you guys are miss, missing the concept a little bit too. It's, you have to comment on that video, the Shell Rotella video, not the newer videos. So some people are commenting like the T6 stuff on the latest video, and it's it's only for that one video. So look back at that Shell Rotella video. It's only like two minutes long and comment on that one. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.